So here we're looking at a hip. We've got a lateral view of a right hip here. And the first things we're going to look for are features that are not just on one of the individual hip bones, ilium, ischium, or pubis. We're going to look at a couple of features that um, extend over one, or sorry, over two or three of the bones. Now the first one is the obturator foramen, and that's this big hole here. Now it's surrounded by the ischium and pubis, so it's not on just one of those bones, it's, on, it's in between two of them. That's the obturator foramen, or foramen, you can't miss it. It's down the inferior end. So this is the superior aspect of the hip up here. This is inferior. This side is posterior. And then this side, where my hand is, here is the anterior aspect. And we're looking, again, from a lateral point of view. Now, because we're looking from a lateral point of view, we can see this great big cavity here, or socket here. That's the acetabulum. Now, that's where the head of the femur is going to fit. And it's huge. Now, if we draw a couple of lines on the acetabulum, if we were to draw a line across here, from, an from anterior to posterior, everything above that line is ilium. So everything above this line here is ilium. Now then if we drew a line up to that one, from the bottom up, to where that hor uh, horizontal line was, then everything behind this line is ischium, and everything in front of this line is ilium. So the ilium and the ischium are on the inferior part of the hip. The, the ilium, sorry, I just said that wrong. Please accept my apologies. That was a deliberate mistake. I just wanted to see if you were listening. Everything on the anterior part here is the pubis. So the pubis and the ischium are the inferior part of the, the hip bone. The ilium is the superior part. So that's the acetabulum. We can draw those lines in there to show where the, the three bones of the hip are, they meet here in the acetabulum. Now with the acetabulum there's another feature on it that we can look at. If we look from an inferior point of view we see that the rim of the acetabulum has a, a big hole in it. That's the acetabular notch. So there's a great big notch there where there's no bone. We can see that there's acetabular rim all around here and then a notch that's on the inferior aspect. So that's the acetabular notch. Now let's look at the ilium. So remember, that's the superior of the three bones. That's the one that's up the top here. And with the ilium, we'll start at the top. The ilium has a crest. And the iliac crest is that ridge right on the top of the ilium, runs right across the top there. Now the iliac crest starts here at the ASIS, which is the anterior superior iliac spine. So that's the anterior superior iliac spine and the crest starts there and then heads posteriorly. Now, inferior to the anterior superior iliac spine is the anterior inferior iliac spine. So there's two on the front, an anterior superior and an anterior inferior. And of course, you can feel free to abbreviate them to ASIS and AIIS for exam purposes because it just saves so much time. So then there's the iliac crest. It runs all the way to the posterior aspect here where we have a posterior superior iliac spine and then a posterior inferior iliac spine. Now, they're not quite as noticeable on this particular one, but that's all right. So posterior superior iliac spine, posterior inferior iliac spine. So there's four spines there on the ilium. Now, then if we look at a medial point of view, because we were still on a lateral point of view there, if we flip the hip around to look at a medial point of view, you can see, hopefully, that there's a depression here. That's the iliac fossa. And a muscle called iliacus sits inside that fossa there. That's the iliac fossa. So now, on to the ischium. So, let's, so we'll come back to a lateral point of view. We're looking at the ischium. Remember, it's, it's inferior to this line, and it's posterior to this line. So it's this part here. The first thing we want to look at is this big bump here on the po posterior and inferior surface, that's the ischial tuberosity. Now the hamstring muscles attach there and you sit on it. Okay, it's what's the part of you that's sitting on the stools at the moment. Then we have an ischial spine. Now we can see that from a posterior point of view. There it is there sticking out. Now there's only one spine on the ischium, so it's just called the ischial spine. There's none of this anterior and 
inferior nonsense. So that's ischial spine. And then we have a ramus. Now, ramus is an arm-like projection on a bone. This bit here, you, which you don't need to identify, is the body of the ischium. And this bit here is the ischial ramus, or ramus of ischium. That's the projection that comes off the body and is inferior to the obturator foramen. Now, with the pubis, it's this anterior part here. Here's the body. And here's the inferior ramus. So that joins to the ischial ramus, which is here. So ischial ramus here, inferior pubic ramus here, and then superior pubic ramus up here. So the pubis has a body and two rami, whereas the ischium just has the one ramus. 